Welcome to the Ear for Fear podcast, the horror movie podcast that boils and ghouls and dead alike are screaming for. Don't be afraid to listen as Rick and the Creeps bore their way into your brains, slither down onto your arteries, into your still beating hearts. Hi, welcome to Ear for Fear. This is the podcast that talks about scary movies or movies trying to be scary. I'm Rick, and uh, today uh, joined by one of the creeps, Darren Lindsay. What's up? Uh, you and I today are going to be talking about 1983's Sleepaway Camp. Uh, before we uh, jump into this thing, uh, let's do a quick synopsis. After a horrible boating accident kills her family, Angela moves in with her uh, eccentric aunt and protective cousin. One summer, her aunt sends the kids away to camp. Soon after their arrival, bizarre, increasingly violent accidents claim the lives of various campers. All right, man. So Sleepaway Camp, 1983. Before you and I uh, jump into this thing, a few things. Uh, sp- full spoiler, so if no one's seen it, um, don't bother. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, go ahead and turn us off. Go check it out and then come back. Uh, uh, also, um, we usually record episodes a little in advance, but last night was uh, our two-year anniversary. Uh, so two years ago... Two years ago, last night, Donovan and I had did our first episode, which was "Happy Birthday to Me." Wow, that seems so like that's two forever. years ago. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, seem that's like kind of cool. So happy kind of anniversary. Does right? that seem like two years to you? I don't know. I think because with COVID, like everything is seems, to, which is weird because we always seem to be cooped up, and you would think that stuff would drag, but these last two years have like flown by. Yeah, and so it doesn't feel like two years, but it was two years ago wow. last night. Yeah, so two, well, two years. <laughs> Well, you know, because you know, I, I do all of the, the editing on this mm-hmm. stuff. Um, so whenever I sit down to edit a podcast, you know, I, I pull up my my drive, you know, where I have everything located, yeah. and and there's just a long ass <laughs> list. And I just recently, uh, it was a, well, it was the last podcast that uh, I edited. Uh, what would aliens? That have been? Maybe? A- aliens? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm like, holy crap. Mate, there's been quite a number of podcasts. I, I mean, that list. I mean, I I'm now scrolling. I think. I think if I'm wrong, this is maybe episode 68. And then our next episode, I think, yeah, I think this, I think this is 68, dude. That's a lot of episodes. Yeah. That's quite a few. Yeah. And for those who maybe have listened to most of them, hey, thank you. Yeah, totally. Right. <laughs> I know. Way to stick Ooh, in there. Listen to some old fogies uh, talk about horror movies. Seriously. Uh, you know, and so, uh, yeah. So, anyways, I wanted to say that before I forgot. Uh, and uh so anyways man sleep away, sleep away camp uh 1983 so um before we completely crap on this movie because i think you and i are both in agreement on this um i will say the one the two things i'm gonna say two nice things about this movie yeah you do that and then i'll do the same <laughs> and then we'll spend and the we'll, rest of <laughs> and we'll spend the rest of the hour just shitting all over this movie um the poster to me is still one of my favorite all time, yep. Like mo- like slasher, especially like slasher horror movie posters of the eighty. The the blue, the shoe, the knife going through it. The where the kids writing the letter about hey, whatever it is, like dear mom and dad, you know, blah blah blah. And then I I remember seeing it for the first time back in the eighties when VHS was huge, and we yeah. go to the video stores, and and that what that 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 cover alone prompted me to watch it then. Yeah. Now. Back in the 80s, you know, look, we're talking my teenage years. I probably thought this was a cool movie. And now that I'm friggin' 50 and watching this, yeah, especially for this episode, it's not good. Now, the other one other thing I'm going to say is uh, y- we met Felissa Rose, who is yeah. Angela in this movie. Yeah. And she was awesome. She's great. 
Awesome. So anyone who ever gets a chance to maybe go and, and meet her and get something signed, uh, do it because she is fantastic. We met her at one of, the con, cre- one of the, the creature cons Senate here in Sac. Cons, yeah. yeah. Uh, God, dude, maybe three or so years ago. She was great. So anyways, those are really about the only, I think, two things. Nice. Maybe if something comes up and I remember, yeah. I'll say it. But other than that, this is not a good movie at all. Uh, and I'm sure it holds like a place for people in their childhood like they're reminiscing you know uh, to me no this is bad this is a bad movie yeah. dude this is not a good there so, are go ahead go so ahead. i only have really one good thing to say about this movie i thought <laughs> I, when you had said you were gonna you know all right right off the gate i'm gonna come yeah. up with like two <laughs> two good things i thought yeah i'll do the same oh well the but ending I, sh- I guess i could say oh the ending we'll get back to we'll get to later the ending is good the ending's good the well, very very end is right. that what you're gonna say that is literally what I was going to say. Yeah, like, yes. like that. That the, is really the only thing. Yeah. The ending of that movie is the only thing about that movie yeah. that it was actually shot well. Yes. Um, from a conceptual point of view, was was good. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, um, and I don't know where you know I don't know if it was the director who decided uh, for uh, Felicity Rose's character to to do that creepy ass face oh, she does face, or if it was yeah. her, if she, if she just ad libbed that or what she did, but, but that was good. That was, that, that was it. Yeah. That was yeah. it. Every, there's nothing else good about this movie. So what I had read now, I don't know how true this is. I'm sure part of that, the close up is, is, is Felissa wrote the one shot where we, we pan out and it's this person <laughs> and little peepees all and hanging, the peepees out. hanging out. <laughs> From what I heard, it was a guy they hired and they used a prosthetic like face of her. And that's why you can tell that it's kind of blurred a little bit. So they got a guy. This is what I read. They got a guy they found like locally that he went to like either worked at a college or went to college and they hired him to do this nude shot. And he was so uncomfortable that he had to get drunk in order to do the shot. And and so that is that is him. And then like some sort of face of her. Yeah. But then the close up, I'm sure, is definitely her because well, you yeah. Well, it's interesting because then that explains a lot because I I found that scene where they pan out and you know, and she's just all that, you yeah, know, and, yeah. and and she's making that weird ass <laughs> sound, dude. That that, that that sound alone was weirding me out. But <laughs> you know, and she's all nah, you know, and his little BBs all hanging out, you know. <laughs> I was like, something seemed odd about the shot <laughs> yeah. and I couldn't put my finger on it. I'm going like, well, obviously this isn't her. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, like, like it, it just got, it got super blurry, right? Like it got <clears> really <throat> like, like almost like the footage became like so old and, yeah. and it was like, okay. And now that kind of makes more sense. It's, yeah, it does. So that it way does. you can disguise the fact that it's really not, you know. So <laughs> to me, the really, the only thing that this movie did. Okay. Yeah. Like it was the yeah. ending. Like, like if you were to put like a list of say like top 20, 10, 20, like horror endings, I would throw that in there. Cause I didn't expect it now. Now rewatching it. There's a lot of, there's a lot of like foreshadowing. There's a lot of stuff like sure. that, you know, you could go, okay. You know, um, like her never wanting to go in the water and her never wanting to take a, a shower with the rest of the girls and all these different things. Yeah. You explain that stuff away fairly easily by yeah. just, uh, what they established with her, yep. her character as being just super shy, super shy. And then the fact that yeah. her family died in the water. Yeah. So I was like, okay, you know, you could, yeah, yeah you could I mean, argue it, that those things for sure. Um, and, and, and I think they, you know, that was on purpose. So, yeah, it, they were. it was, but <clears throat> I, what I just, okay. So Right off the bat, acting is terrible. It's a horrible. It's some of the worst acting I've ever. It's bad. It's Except bad. Except for strangely, she's not too bad. No, she's not. She's now, really good. However, <laughs> the, the other side of that coin, I was laughing um, about. I don't know. Halfway through the the movie, um, I, I turned to, to Tyra and I'm like. Wow, man. I'm like, like the whole first, nearly first half of this movie, she doesn't say a word. Nothing. Like, like it's great for her. She doesn't have to learn barely any, any lines line. yeah. at all. I you know, 30 something minutes into the movie, yeah. she finally had a so line. Like, which, yeah. yeah. It was like when she talked to that 
guy, um, the kid. Yeah, like, the, what yeah. was his name? I Paul? forget his name. That guy was I a think douche. It was, I think it was Paul, right? This is the guy that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's Paul. Well, so, so <laughs> you know, she finally says that thing, you know. But I, but I felt like from that point on, anytime she was talking or saying something, I thought she did. I mean. Not stellar award yeah. winning acting, no. but I thought she did substantially better than every, Just about every other else. person yeah. on that goddamn. Movie. <laughs> I have never seen such abysmal acting before. <laughs> well, look, and, I and will this, say I have, unfortunately, because there's a lot of bad slashers. Well, <clears throat> there's a lot of bad, there's a lot of bad horror movies. There's a lot of bad slashers. And this is definitely in that category. I've seen far worse acting. <clears throat> Which is sad. Yeah. Well, this gets to, okay. So this gets <laughs> into what I was going to, my, the first things I was going to say, but then shit, man, I, I just, can't, I'm all over the place right now it's because hard. it's, it, I, I which, had to start writing. Okay. First off, first off, and this is going to be stupid. I was thinking about this. Okay. <laughs> when have you ever, okay. Let's say we're kids, right? We're teenagers and summer hits. When have you ever gone to your mom or dad and said, Hey, I want to go to sleepaway camp. Is there such fucking camp? Look, I've heard of fat camp. I've heard of science camp. I've heard of summer camp. Shit, there's basketball camp. I've never heard of sleepaway camp. Well, I can only assume that what they mean by the sleepaway camp is one of those summer camps. I think that's okay. the equivalent to I it. just felt like it was kind of like a lazy way of like, I don't know, like, like, cause we know this was 83. So really, if you, if you really <clears throat> think about it, the, the height of the slasher was, it was 82. So 83 is now, okay. Now you're kind of like on the tail end of the slasher. We've seen so many other camp slasher well, movies. It's well, like, well, Rick, yeah, I mean, listen, the, at that point in time, the, the genre had hit uh, bedrock, dude. It, it was really, scraping bedrock. It really had. It really. It, <laughs> and, and so let me get back to this really okay, quick. And this ahead. is where I found it really interesting about how <laughs> nostalgia just doesn't like rarely if ever does it line up with the reality mm -hmm. i remember watching this movie i watched it i not the year it came i think i watched it the year i think it was 84 84 okay okay yeah i was with a girlfriend we were in my bedroom it was hotter than fuck <laughs> that goddamn summer i remember that yeah. um we had spent most of the day you know out of you know my parents had a pool oh yeah. you know uh-huh most of the day there afternoon we're, you know, we had rented sleepaway camp specifically for exactly the reason you said that you grabbed it because of the cover. Yeah. Right. Cool. Yeah. And I absolutely remember watching this movie. I, I, I pretty much remembered every single scene and I'm, as I'm watch watching it the other day, I'm thinking to myself, I'm, I'm referencing the, the nostalgic part of my brain when it comes to this movie and I'm trying to cross reference and I'm trying to, I'm trying desperately for those two things to line up. Like what I'm watching right now at age 52 and the, the little nostalgia kernel, you know, the, yeah. of, that I packed away in my brain, you know, from the first time I saw this. Yeah. Uh, so 1984, <laughs> how old would 15, I have been? 16, 50, yeah. Yeah. 15, about that. 16, yeah. And, uh, I'm, I'm like, what? I don't recall again. I at 15 or 16, I don't know how much at that time in my life I had to draw upon in terms of, uh, uh, com comparative, you know, like what did I really have to draw on? Uh, the Friday the 13th, I think I was watching those. Halloween's. Halloween's, and, you know. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you, Hell Night would have been out. <clears throat> I, my Bloody Valentine. There's yeah, other ones you yeah. probably would, may have come across. But I mean, in terms of my my theatric library <laughs> yeah, of, uh, to, yeah. to, to, to fall back on as something to compare to this movie, like there wasn't, it was a pretty shallow puddle. Yeah. And so at that time i don't recall thinking to myself this is horrible acting this is a bad plot in general this isn't <laughs> set up correctly why they do this why they do that i mean the, you know these <laughs> these characters are like caricatures of people yes you know yes. I, I don't recall ever like thinking that you know what i mean mm -hmm. and so then when i watched the other day <laughs> to prepare for this <laughs> podcast. I was really rather, I mean, I, I think I went in going like, well, I don't expect amazing 
but I didn't expect how <laughs> freaking horrible this. I don't it's, even know where to begin, right? I, so okay, let's... <laughs> here, I know where to begin. This is where I'm going to begin. We, I talked about the whole caricature thing. Yeah. I felt that like what they did was they took like the, I don't know how to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to probably fumble with explaining okay. this, but, okay. but bear with me. All right. It was like you have an archetype of a type of group of people or a type of person or whatever. So in this movie, you've, you've got all the, the kids, let's just call them the, the yeah. archetype, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now within that group, that archetype of, of a, of a group of people or, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. you might have one or two oh. stragglers that are exceptions. Okay. But it was like, they took what, like they sat in a room and they thought, okay, let's come up with like, like the most insane, crazy representation of a bully. Like, you Mm -hmm. know what I mean? And then, and then let's just, we'll go with that. Yeah. Every single kid was so out of control beyond arrogant. Yeah. Cocky bully yeah mean yeah um <laughs> I, 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 almost comically so it was it, yes that's what yes. i mean when i say it. it was like these characters were almost a caricature yes. of the archetype the bully archetype and then then it wasn't even just the kids then you have um the aunt the, the, the aunt oh yeah. my god <clears throat> absolutely but then you have like the the camp workers yeah you have that quintessential buff dude yeah with, ronnie with the, yeah with the shorts with the, that, oh my god those 80s the, oh, shorts dude every pair of shorts he had went all the way up to his junk like Seriously. i'm like really dude yeah yeah some butt and then the the owner mel Mel, who's trying to just, who's basically trying to shove everything underneath the carpet because, oh my God, you know, I can't, I'm losing money. And then the, yeah, Judy, the, the bitch. Uh huh. Don't get me started about the cop. Oh, oh my, we are gonna <laughs> talk about this. Oh my God, oh dude. Oh my God. <laughs> Do we, we could talk about it right now. We could talk, we could save it because it's a juicy little it, nugget it, for later. This ain't the same for I'm later. Gonna shit all like, over oh, that, that mustache. Cop, oh, Jesus. Yeah. And I had read <laughs> stuff about that. Oh, I did oh, as you, well. I'm sure you did oh, too. I did as well. <laughs> okay. But like, but okay, so we'll just go cop light for right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, Oh my God, how, how nonchalant that cop is when, when he comes out and there's like, but I don't know if it was the first murder or the first okay, death so or the, the second. The first, okay. So, um, Artie, which was the pedophile cook. Yeah. Let's not even go. We're talking about that. Really? He is, dude, I was uncomfortable. So was I. I was uncomfortable. The, the way he was talking <clears throat> to the rest yep. of the, his staff. Yep. Uh, and I forget what the, I'm not even going to repeat the terminology he used, mm-hmm. but I'm like, are you kidding me right now? Yep. I mean, we're talking about 12 and 13 year old girls. Yep. That eventually he tries to come on to Angela inside that, that it was um, the walk in freezer, the, the walk in. Yeah. Yep. And I'm like, dude, that's just bad. It that was. is fucking <clears throat> bad. It was. It was. Like, that is bad for 80s horror. That's it, bad. It, yeah. Because yeah. they did a lot of shitty stuff in the 80s. Look, <clears throat> I grew up on 80s. I love 80s movies. But going back and watching those, there's some stuff that's like, you're like, that's not cool. Well, like, it was the accepted norm at the time. I think I mean, it, it was. It's a product yeah. of, of what it was at the time. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, and that's what happens. I mean, yeah. you know. Um, as each decade passes, you look back on the previous decade and go, God, why in the hell was I doing that? You I'm I mean? shocked. Like, I'm oh. actually shocked by some, yeah. some of the stuff. I'm not so much, especially when it's a movie I've seen so many times. Look, I don't like it, but I, I, I just, it's whatever. Yeah. This one, I can't get past. I mean, yes, this, this arty guy making comments and tr- and literally trying to rape. I'm sorry. <clears> I'm going <throat> to use the R word, uh, Angela at 13. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's exactly and, what he was doing. Yeah. And just so, I mean, <laughs> his character, the, his, his, his assistant or Ben, I mean, this was, te- oh my God, talk about terrible acting. This mm-hmm. was bad. The other guys luckily didn't have any lines. Cause I can't right. even imagine what that would have been. Well, like. now, okay. So <laughs> now we're talking about this, this chef guy. Let's talk about <laughs> chef. that. That's actually like trying to like that's polish up a turd. A turd right? Sorry. This, is, this, this, this short this order cook. cook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
let's go ahead and talk about his death scene because I'm going <laughs> to shit all over almost yeah. every death and scene. And his was the first death, by the way. Yeah, uh, that's where I was going to. Oh, wasn't it? it no, the, it wasn't the drowning. No, it wasn't the, that was no, the second that's one. That's right. But that no, he second. didn't die, though. Didn't they just take him away? He just got burned. Oh, that's severely. true. I guess we, yes, you are right. Yeah. I guess we are supposed to assume maybe he does no. die, but. No, he didn't die. He just got burned he just, severely. Okay. In you the are right. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. My bad. But, anyways, well, let's talk about that. Okay. Um, okay. I wrestled with this because, <laughs> yeah, he gets, okay, so it's like that huge, giant, yeah. comically tall. Really tall to put all the container. Corn in. Uh, for the corn, they're like boiling so, corn. So I was thinking about this. If you have like, let's say you have a hundred campers. I don't know what they have, but let's say they have a hundred. Sure. And you have to cook a hundred, <clears throat> you know, uh, things of corn. Yeah. Cobs of corn or whatever. Yep. I, I guess you could, you would need something really huge, right? But, yeah. Yeah. But there's no way that thing would heat, right? No, I mean, it, something that tall would heat on a little tiny. It, it would. It would. Okay. It would take a while, but I mean, you know, it okay. would. I okay. mean, so for the the listeners, if you haven't seen this uh, <laughs> piece of shit of a movie, <laughs> if you can picture um, like a fairly small, it's like strangely small um, stovetop, and a round metal container. Um, obviously for boiling water and, yeah. and stuff. Um, I don't know how uh, a big round, probably 18 <sighs> inches around could have been 24 inches around. Yeah, dude, I think you're probably about, I say, I say about 18 to 24. Okay. Yeah. So 18 <clears throat> to 24 inches around. However, <laughs> twice as tall as it is. Dude, it looked like it was like four feet tall. Something around like, three to four feet yeah, high. Yeah, it was crazy. It yeah. was like, well, whoever thought that was a good idea, <laughs> if that's actually a thing. Like, yeah, let's make a container that you <laughs> boil water, you know, three times as tall as it is. You know, that's not a, 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 a you know, a disaster waiting to happen. Oh, right sure. There, you yeah. know? Yeah. So that's what that, this was. And, you know, he's, you know, he gets his little step stool ladder thing and he gets up on top of there and he's all checking. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's putting some salt in there or something. I think I he whatever. was putting salt in there. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And, um, you know. You don't know who the killer is because that's, of course, yeah, the the tropes in these movies. You know, <laughs> all you see are the hands, and it starts to like pull the 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 step ladder. Oh, oh you know, yeah, the little and step he's stool, all, yeah. "What are you doing? You need to stop! Oh my god!" You yeah, know, and he's yeah. like trying to hold on. Okay, suffice it to say, she, she, you know, they 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 yank it. Yeah, the killer pulls it away. Killer pulls it away. Waterfall. Waterfall. Yeah. I mean, it's all over him, and then we proceed to get the most annoying screaming for <laughs> what probably went on for a seem like 30 seconds, if not longer. Yeah. Constant. So much so that my wife, <laughs> she yells from the other side of the house. Oh my God, just die already. <laughs> I, was, I laughed so damn hard. Rick. It was fucking it, annoyed. It was bad. Okay. Now, <laughs> now let's talk about, let's talk about, the damage to yeah, him. Yeah. The I, bubbling. The, of okay, I acknowledge that if you have scalding, boiling water yeah. splashed on you, that yes, you are going to probably get some, you know, definitely second degree yeah. burns, probably some blistering. Yes. But they made it look like there was like toxic waste <laughs> in that you. container. I was going to say toxic waste. His skin was separating uh -huh. down to like the muscle, uh -huh. you know, and it's like, that's yep. not going to happen. I that's know. just <laughs> fine. Fine. Suspend belief, I guess. Fine. We yeah. have to, we have to. Yes. You and I both know that's not, and most probably most of the audience is like, yeah, that's not going to happen. But yeah, for the sake of, this scene and yeah so we they got to convey all of this he's in pain and blah 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 and all this other crap dude it was just i seriously yeah. his screaming for the 30 it or continued 40. remember when the, the ambulance <clears throat> took him away yes. so all and I, like i never had boiling water i i'm sure it's painful i i'm sure it is but yeah dude it was annoying it was annoying everything to me was so was so over the top animated like you were saying earlier yep. it just it wasn't it just didn't work for me no. like look i i get it he's in pain or yeah maybe he got burnt so bad that there are some blistering 
But this blistering, yeah, dude, it looked like talk. It reminded me similar to the death in RoboCop when that yeah, one guy yes, crashes yes. into the talk. Yeah. Yes. And I was just like, <clears throat> oh, my God. Yeah. And so, <laughs> I mean, look, I didn't care because the guy was a, it was a damn, like, creepy pedophile, you know, yeah. scumbag cook. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's just, honestly, dude, none of the kills in this. Okay. I will say. And, I, and look, I'm going to jump ahead. I don't care. All the kills were terrible. They were. Except for the one that I thought was decent, the arrow. The arrow on the neck I thought was decent. I didn't think yeah. it was. It wasn't like something I'd never seen. Sure. I thought the effect itself was cool. Yes. Like, I felt it looked good. Agreed. Everything Agreed. else was crap. It was. And so let's get let's get to another one that, <laughs> the, that I the just The drowning didn't. one? The drowning one? Would, I think that'd be the first. That, well, I guess you'd be right. It would be the first That kill, was the right? first one because they were in the late. Yeah, where, like, remember the, the yep, canoe? The canoe flips over, and why is he in underneath the canoe and just chilling there? He just, um, you know, he it's, just thought it's it was what funny. you do as a boy, you know, it's thought, a, you okay. know, because there's air. Okay, you know, so he, he was just chilling. Cool he thought like, it was funny, yeah, and, and yeah. so yeah, and so he gets what drowned here? Yeah, yeah, she drowns him. Drowns him. Yeah. Um, so, uh, second <laughs> death that I found to be just c- comically stupid was this the B one? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my God, dude. Th- <laughs> okay. So I think you're going to have, look, I'm going to say something. And tell me, if you, off here, man, tell me you. if you agree. You and I both know those old bathrooms. All you have to do is crawl under. Yeah. <laughs> so first when the bee gets thrown in there. Yeah. The, yeah. I'm crawling out. Dude. First <laughs> of all, the, the tiny twig that, yeah. that she, that she like shoved in between the door handles. Yeah. Yeah. All it's going to take is just a quick little shove and uh-huh. that thing's broken. Right, right, okay. Yeah. But yes, you are right. <laughs> it, if push came to shove and I don't know, she happened to find the most strongest little tiny twig, <laughs> you know, and you just can't get out. Yeah. yeah just crawl under you the crawl thing, underneath bro. the thing. Yeah. I mean, it, I'm like, but he's, it's he's, like that scene on breaking bad, you know, with, with the barrel, <laughs> they're all trying to carry the barrel. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a barrel. <laughs> it it <just> rolls. rolls. <laughs> I know, dude, I know. Yeah, man. <laughs> it, it's just, uh, okay. What I, th- what I found just so dumb is the beehive. <laughs> It was like the size of like a softball. <laughs> it dude. was small. It There's was like so, not that many yeah, bees dude, was, in yes. there. <laughs> but yet, yet the final scene it looked like there were like a thousand bees yes. on this guy. Like, like a, literally rip, ripping him apart. Like yeah, like they uh, they had they had made it was like the final scene what they show looks like a corpse that had been sitting there and like bees had spent the better part of like three months burrowing <laughs> yes, into him. Yes. It, you know what I mean? I, I know, dude. Like, it's so friggin' bad. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it was, I know. I know. It was for shock value. I, I, that's what I really feel that they were trying to do was it was more, we're not going to do anything that's the realistic. We're going for absolute shock value. I just, but none of that shocked me. Like, no, I know. So, I know. and this is the thing, I guess, like, okay. So like you were saying earlier, like us watching it at a younger age, and we probably didn't catch all the stuff we're catching. We did it. Um, but we still had stuff to base it off of. We still had the Halloweens and we still had Friday the 13th. And where yeah. we're, we're seeing some really cool and sometimes gruesome deaths. None of these were any of that. But, th- but what I mean, I think is that because we had all that and at, at the point when this movie came out, they really were scraping bedrock for they, they ideas were. and stuff. Yeah. So that's why, like, I feel like they went over the top. On the, you know what I mean? Because anything short of going over the top is a yawn fest because we've already seen it at, at that point in See, time. But I, I agree with what you are saying there to me, though. None of this was, I didn't feel it was over the top. Like me, I didn't think what it, I mean by over the top is, a okay. Getting killed by uh-huh. a, a bunch of bees. Okay. Okay. Well, what's normal is we're going to see a bunch of welts on a person uh, and then they're okay, going to be just, I see what you're saying. Gonna, okay. But instead what we got was a, a corpse that looked like it had been okay. okay. Insects have been burrowing. I into see it what first. you're so, saying. So like, so like boiling water, a little bit of blisters, but let's, let's shoot some steroids into this thing and let's have just the skin falling off. Oh my God. Be, yes. Okay. That's I see what I, I see mean. What, I see that's what you're what saying. I mean. What I had. Okay. So, and I don't know if this contributed and I'm sure this, I don't know what the budget was on this thing. 
But the director, I think his name is Robert Hilt- Hiltzik. Maybe I'm pronouncing that wrong. I don't know. I had read that he took the money that he inherited from his mother's death to make this movie. So I don't know. Maybe well, she's rolling over in her grave. Yeah, right. Yeah. Maybe the money just wasn't so. And I think the camp that he filmed that at was a camp he went to when he was a kid. That camp was shitty. Okay, that's funny. That wasn't even a good so, looking camp. Like like in the Friday the 13th, it feels like a camp. So the basically him and, making this movie was therapy for him. I maybe, <clears throat> maybe, yeah. you know, but it was just, dude, it was. But agree, I agree, though. Yeah, it was all like to the extreme, but it wasn't like anything I'd never never seen before like i was bored with the killings like oh yeah like oh yeah and so i thought i had read that they'd struggled with a rating and i'm like how like there was literally no it, barely it, any blood it was the peepee at the end it was the peepee that like, was it dude. so the peepee absolutely for sure so the peepee was it was uh, like literally like a half a second <laughs> it was so you think that was like so like they couldn't do a lot of blood because they knew they were going to do this and so they had to use all of their I don't know on, I'm not, I am not going to, there's yeah. some terminology I could use right now, sure, sure. but it wouldn't be appropriate. So right. they basically said, okay, you know, in order to get this rating and having this scene at the end, we can't have any blood that may, that would make yeah. sense if that, I, I yeah. don't know if that's the case, but that would, yeah. so, so, okay. So then, cause back then we never saw a lot of penis unless you were watching no. a porno. Right. We saw a lot of boobies. Oh yeah. A lot of boobies, a not, lot of, not full lot of, frontal male. No. Mm-mm. So maybe that has a different rating. Absolutely, Rick. Uh, uh, th- that absolutely mm, is the reason why okay. there was a rating struggle. There is no it has 100%, to be. Has 100%. To, that, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So let's see here. Um, uh, what what's the next killing? Is this Meg? This is Meg. Um, is well, Meg the, cur- the next killing? The curling iron. No, I think I think we get no, we get that later. Meg is the one kind of bitchy counselor that goes to take a shower next door and gets the knife she in gets the back. The knife that's in really the, back. the only that's, blood we really see. That is true. That is so true. we get that and that's <clears throat> whatever killing. What I thought was hilarious is when she's hooking up with Mel, who's gotta be 60 or 70. That guy is gross. So she's gotta be, let's just say she's 18. Let's say she's 18 to 20. Mel, like, I think, either owns it or runs the place. Yeah, and he's definitely in his 60s. He's too. definitely in his 60s. And did, what I did read was he was actually dealing with a cancer while he was filming this movie. Oh. So he died three months before the movie was well, released. Way to make it a bummer, right? I know, I know, right? <laughs> but it doesn't it doesn't change the fact that he's in his 60s and, and he's going to be hooking up with like an 18 to 20-year-old. So she goes to shower. She gets a knife in the back. When she doesn't show up, he goes to look for her. Yeah. So then, then he, so this whole time though, he thinks that Ricky, which is Angela's cousin is doing all the killing. And, and if you don't know this, you kind of think he is right. Like, cause all the people that yeah. are dying are people that have wronged him think, or Angela. I think that that's what they're, I think even the yeah. directors or whatever, yeah. that's what they're trying to. Absolutely. To the lay. hands look like it could be a, a boy's hand. For sure. For so, sure. so, um, so he thinks Ricky's the killer. So he goes to look for him. But what I thought was hilarious, dude. And it's just the epitome of this the movie. The airplane bitch slapping? No, so that, yeah, so, yeah, no. What I was going to say, but we could go to that. What I was going to say is when, when Mel comes in to go look for her, this uh, hours have passed, and then she falls out of the shower. Oh, like, the, like the body oh, just God. happens to now fall out of the shower. It's fucking stupid, in, in dude. In the dramatic reveal. In the, yes, yeah. yes, with the yeah. shower curtain. I'm like, oh, my God. Because the body wouldn't have fallen in the last sure. couple hours. No, but right, whatever. But, right. It has to fall right <clears throat> when he like, walks yeah. in. Sure. But, so, so, <clears throat> but then I think, and he goes to find uh, Ricky. Um, yeah. He yeah. goes to find Ricky. But then uh, around this time... Don't we get the death of Judy, which is the curling iron, but we don't yeah. even get to see it. It's probably like it's, a good thing that we didn't get to see okay, that. Where, okay. Now, where did she, uh, where did she get the curling iron? No, I mean, I don't mean where did she, where did she acquire it? I mean, wh- where does she die? Like, where does it like kill her? Yes. I don't, what do you think? Oh, you think down there? Yes. Oh, is that where it was? Oh, yes, man. shit. Absolutely. There's no way it's, it wasn't. <sighs> That's you're right because they, the they, killer they sh- puts sh- the pillow over her head yes. to muffle the scream, yeah. and then you can see the shadow oh, of the curling yeah. irons. Oh going yeah, down, and then the you know? goofy hands. What the, the, the dude? Uh, that yeah. was dude. Another dumb. Yeah. Well, it was yeah. like it was like okay, we we want death by a uh, dildo uh, curling iron because we know she's kind of promiscuous, but right? Yes. She's, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. But okay. but yet we can't show that because you, you know, know what's our, funny, Darren. After seeing this all these times, I never. Even, 
thought about that until you just said it, which oh. I don't know why. It makes oh, complete welcome. sense. Yeah, complete sense. <laughs> I'm here for you. Because, yeah, because we know from, <laughs> from last summer to this summer, she has blossomed let's she's, just yeah, say she's, she's blossomed, blossomed yeah totally. <laughs> and so and she's yeah she's definitely trying to hook up with just about everybody <clears throat> so that makes sense but what's funny is when okay this is what this is to throw us off is when the killer comes through the door it looks like her cousin in a wig it, yes and it's a word to believe it's him <clears throat> and it's and so so then when mel goes to go he finds him and beats the hell living Dude, hell out no, of him. No, that scene reminded me of airplane. I'm not joking. You know, on airplane when <laughs> when when everybody's lining up to like the the, the, the oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Dude, She's all bad. hysterical on the plane yes. and everyone's like lining up uh, to like slap to her. Slap her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it reminded me of. He he got the airplane bitch laughing. <laughs> that guy was like, Dude, it was bad. It was so bad. <laughs> like the acting, the whole the whole thing was just terrible. It was. I, I like a, <clears throat> He he go he leaves after he whoops Ricky's ass. Leaves him for dead essentially. I thought Ricky, I thought he beat him to death. That's what I thought. I thought he did. Yeah. And then he leaves <clears throat> him and then that's where he gets the he gets the arrow into the neck. Um and so Mel's dead. So, and then oh, oh my god, we got to talk. And I was trying to think about this. So I was wondering why we get this exposition of the one camp counselor taking all these kids into the into the woods for a camping trip. Okay. Then I then I was like, and then two of them leave. What what counselor leaves? Say three or four in the middle of the forest to drive other two back to camp. That isn't happening. But okay, we're <laughs> suspending belief. Then he comes back, and the three of them are dead. I'm like, well, why did they die? And then I was thinking about this. Well, because they were throwing sand on Ricky and Angela when yeah. he pulled her out of the water. Yeah. And I was like, okay, okay. Because <clears throat> I was like, well, why are they dead? And then I'm like, okay, I get it now. Yeah. 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 Because some stuff is just so forgettable to it me. Is. It's just it like. Is, dude. It's, it is. And so at this point, so he, he, he comes back. He sees the three kids are dead. I think there's three of them. He throws up. He goes and calls. He calls Ronnie with the short shorts. Oh my god! Let's just call him short shorts. Short Ronnie. shorts, Ronnie. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then so then he Ronnie goes to gather up all the 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 camp counselors, and um, shit, dude, is this okay? So, uh, uh, Paul, who's kind of the love interest of Angela, but he kind of screws her over earlier to hook up with Judy. And they're going to meet after, yeah, after a, the social. Dude, he was a little turd biscuit. He was a little turd kid. biscuit. Yeah. Look, I am not. Def- Let me be very clear, folks. Okay. I am not defending him. Okay. I am right. not. But I'm trying to look back at a being 13 or 14, all those hormones going crazy. I'm not saying it's okay at all. I'm not. But I could. I, I, it's not <laughs> unbelievable that he would try to hook up with anything. Well, that- okay. But because, yeah, I mean. Angela did, you know, he, tr- he did try it around second base with her and yeah. she, she kind of shut not, him she, down. She denied him, yeah. But, the, you know, the sequence of events, they, to me anyways, seem to be taking place, you know, close together. It's not as though yeah. much time goes by or anything so. like yeah, that, you know? Think. And I just, I don't know. I mean, it's like on the one hand, I get it. Yeah, 13 year old boy or whatever, fine hormones, but... Christ, I was 13 once and I don't recall yeah. just jumping ship so quick. You know? I, I never did either. But but I think <clears throat> I think as we were talking about um, the type of movie this is and, you know, it's believable in the sense of it, and it kind of follows the trope. I, we have seen yeah. that type of thing in other True. slasher movies yeah, yeah. where it's like you get denied <clears throat> by let's quote. I'm not going to say Angela's the good girl. I'm just saying let's say in another horror movie you get denied and and you move on to the next yeah I, we've seen it before yeah. i'm not saying it's right and i'm not saying i've done it but i you can it's believable i guess yeah and so um so they're supposed to meet at whatever the i don't know on the beach or the dock i don't know what they call it yeah they're supposed to meet there now let's let's go back because i know we didn't tell the the audience what happened at the beginning of the movie which is okay so you have their dad Okay, so this is eight years earlier. They're out um, on the lake. Yeah. And they have a boat, and the boat flips over, and it's their dad who we believe is, he's who's gay. He has a gay lover now. Or they, I don't know if that's his husband. Let's just call him his gay lover. Um, but wasn't there, but wasn't there the, there was like the boat 
where the, the boat yeah so the so, their boat like it, it no, looked I know like, yeah. but what wasn't but wasn't the reason that occurred was because there was this other boat with this guy on it and a girl yes and she, she wanted, wanted to, to yeah. drive and correct okay I'm trying to establish this <clears> up <throat> we forgot to talk about the beginning but you have the two it's eight years earlier so you have two younger kids a brother and a sister yeah. and their dad and their they 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 tickle the dad the, the boat flips over they're in the water and okay so this could be nothing darren but i am gonna throw it out and it and it has to do with the ending but okay. i thought the i don't mean to get in the weeds yeah. here but i thought the boat flipped over because they scared the dad no i, I thought it was because the uh that other no. boat was uh -uh. coming and she, they no, it flipped over because the two kids they creeped up on the dad just to kind of like tickle him or to scare him, and oh. then it flipped over, and he and he was kind of like joking with him. Oh, you guys, you know oh, that's that type right. of thing. Oh God, I really, okay. And so, yeah, but then yeah, he, yeah. so All then right. then on the beach is his is I, I'm going to assume his boyfriend because it looks like he's divorced. They mention a doctor. Yeah, that seemed odd to me. Like, what was the doctor thing for? Was it just trying to make regular conversation? Hey, the doctor called, or we got to go see the doctor. What? That was I, weird. Yeah. And then he, he then he tells one of the one of the kids looks like a, a daughter. Like the daughter's a little older, and the son is probably a couple of years younger. He calls them fellas. <laughs> <laughs> did you catch that? Yes, did. So did you think it was just like, hey, you guys come here? And he instead of saying guys, he said fellas? <laughs> or do you think it was something else weird? Dude, because there's some weird shit happening in here. Yeah. The aunt, yeah. the love scene with the two guys that the kids are watching. It just <laughs> seems really kind of creepy. And it oh made me very uneasy man yeah. um yeah and it and it's not that <clears throat> that is uneasy it was the way it was filmed it was so odd so i gotta tell you this man um when it when it came to this part of how do i board this my opinion I felt this movie was so completely stupid and such a waste of time that I didn't care about those <laughs> details at that point yeah, in time okay. when, when they did, um, kind of do a little back in time, yes. you know, and, and we're kind of fleshing out all yeah. of that stuff with the, the two, the two dads or the, you know, whatever, yeah. or whatever it was. Yeah. yeah. I think it was like the dad and, the, and, his, and lover. his lover, right? Yeah. I, I tuned out. Man. Did you? I did. Yeah. I did. And I did it intentionally. I mean, I know that it's like technically I shouldn't because yeah. if I'm going to sit down and do a podcast or whatever for, <laughs> you know, I should kind of know like every single nuance uh -huh. that occurs on, you know, but I say no. I say that there may be some people who, who, who think that you absolutely have to memorize a movie if you're going to, if you're going to talk about it on a podcast. Yeah. I, I disagree. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that uh, you have to. I, I think that w I got the gist of this movie. <laughs> you, I didn't you did. need yeah. I didn't need to memorize th that ridiculous backstory. Honestly, that like, part wasn't even necessary. I, I think it added a little bit to to I think when Angela was making out with Paul and yeah. him trying to get to second base and then her and her her and let's just say well, the two kids <clears throat> peeking in on them making okay. out and then Rick, I've uh, got a uh, I've got a theory. And okay. it's a theory that that um, that once I throw it out there and yeah. you see any validity to it, you might actually feel like I currently do. That I feel that it's actually, um, I feel that backstory and what they were trying to to come across with with it is a little insulting. Okay, go ahead. Explain. I feel that they threw that backstory in there to further explain how fucked in the head Angela ended up being. And so then what you're essentially saying is that is that uh, a gay couple is apparently so bad that it's just going to completely screw up a kid. Yeah. And I find that to be offensive. It is offensive. It, it, you know what, Darren? I mm -hmm. didn't even think about that, yeah. man. And I think you're absolutely right. That's what that I is, think. That is, that is, that gets me more pissed off yes. about this movie. That's what I'm saying. Like if all the other shit, including that pedophile stuff, wasn't enough. I think you're absolutely right. Because why else would they include that backstory in there if not to explain yep. to the audience why Angela is just whacked out and yeah. running around killing everybody? Yep, uh, you're right, dude. Absolutely, that's, that's dude. I up. mean, look, look, no one denies that that aunt 
just pulled a number oh on God. her, you know, yeah. like, you know, wanted, you know, she's a boy and wanted the girl and, you know, and then proceeded to convert her into a convert girl. Her into a girl. So Darren, I mean, how, how did the cousin Ricky of eight, this is eight years. How did he not know that she was a boy or did he know she was a boy? Did he know she was a boy? I honestly don't know. Because come on, I, I, eight uh, years living with her? True. You true. don't know that it's a boy? <laughs> like, like, see, that's not explained. We have to assume. He's he, protective. We know that. We have to assume that he does not know. Okay. Because they 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 give absolutely zero reference, yeah. zero, uh, you know, throughout the movie that he possibly knows. So, so in the absence of that, we have to assume that he doesn't. No, and that inexplicably for eight years, he just, yeah, she managed to keep it from him. And, you know, I don't know. Mm. You know? And he just knows that she's, she's quiet and all these things. And so mm-hmm. he's protected of her because look, she is my cousin and I'm going to look out yeah. for her. And he just, so, so I just huh. found, I, again, I, I just found that to be, it's like, look, you know, there's only one reason, in my opinion, why they put in that, uh, that ridiculous little backstory. And that was to explain how Angela's yeah. so screwed up in the head. And in doing so, that's offensive. It is offensive. <laughs> now, no, we don't, we haven't talked to the director. We don't know. I don't know if there's anything out there that confirms that. We're just, <clears throat> we're guessing. And I think it's a pretty damn good guess. I think it is. Guess, and, and it is, it is when offensive. it came out, man, and I'm sorry to say, but in the early 80s, um, oh, the, yeah. that, I mean, homosexuality was not something that uh, was accepted like it is now. And even, it, yeah. even now, I mean, here we are, how many, de- I mean, decades oh later, 20 God. some odd year, years later, oh, dude, that thir- more, 30, well, God, 40, where are we at? 40, 40, 40, almost 40 years later, almost 40 years later. And our society is still barely yeah. tolerant yeah. of that. I know it's, it's absurd, so, I mean, man. you know, rewind 40 years ago. Oh, you my can God. imagine how, how a director wouldn't see that as a problem to put in a movie. Yeah. No, you're right, man. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, we haven't confirmed this, but I, I think it, I think it's very plausible, man. I really do. And that's mm-hmm. a shame. I didn't even think about that. <clears throat> now let's talk about the village people cop. So let's talk about the fake mustache because so early on in the movie, we see him and I'm, it's fine. It's whatever. You know, he's a cop. Um, he's, he's got a, <clears throat> he's got what appears to be a real mustache, which I believe was a real mustache oh, it, at the, it was, it was, and it was a cool eighties, eighties cop stash, mustache. Man. Yeah. yeah. Then, then later on in the movie, we, he comes, be, he comes back to camp because I think Ronnie, I think Ronnie calls him up. Hey, there's, there's, there's kids that are dead. He comes back with the shittiest blackest of plastic <laughs> mustaches Dude, I've seen in my fucking so- entire life. <laughs> It was so comical. Dude, it was so bad, Darren. I was so mad. Yes. Like, I was so mad watching <clears throat> this. Okay, last night after I finished the movie, I was talking to Donovan. I said, I said, I was telling him about this mustache. And I was trying to convey to him how bad it was. Do you remember when we were kids? And and when we were younger, we we could get like a dime or a quarter. And we'd go to like a grocery store. And we we put it in. And we we turn it. And we get like some some random little toy. Sometimes it was a bouncy ball or it was yeah. a spinning top. Yeah. Sometimes it was a fake yeah. plastic mustache. And that's what this was. Yep. I felt they went to the local grocery store, found yeah. the shittiest of mustaches and threw it on this cop. Do they phoned it? And, in. It, and it wasn't even Brown. It, it was, was black. black. <laughs> and, and, and so I read up on it and I'm sure you read the same yeah. thing. The, the actor sh- shaved. He shaved because yep. he had another acting gig yep. while he was doing this. He came back to film his scene and they threw this on. Yep. I would have rather you have left the mustache off and, t- and maybe he shaved it in between. Maybe he shaved it. Or why did you have to get so close up on him? Couldn't you have painted the stash brown? Yeah. At least somehow try to try to. Rick, uh, there is a multitude <laughs> of solutions to this problem. Okay. And they went with the most stupid, ridiculous solution. D- Darren, do you felt it was though like he. he okay. Do you feel like the director just was oblivious to this or he just didn't care? And he's like, fuck the audience. They're not going to know. Or if they do know, screw them. Because I felt I was so mad. Like, yeah. how dare you try to pass this off? Yeah, yes, Rick. That Absolutely. Yes and yes. And and you are not wrong for feeling that way. And that was the thing that I was I was contemplating just a few seconds ago on whether to to explain um 
where I'm about to go yeah, or not. Yeah, Part yeah. of me was going, ah, oh, yeah, let that go, you know. But now that you said that, no, I'm not going to let it go. I am going to uh, bring that up. I found that to be um, insulting too, as the viewer. Yeah. To me, um, and and this is uh, take it with a grain of salt. I by no means am I, you know just so rigid about it that that it's insane or anything but i kind of feel like there is a there is a partnership that needs to occur behind the scenes that's not really spoken or not talked about between a, like somebody creating content yeah. art yeah art and, yeah. and somebody um consuming that that mm-hmm. content. Yeah. There, there had, there has to be a relationship there of <laughs> some basic respect. I'm giving up my time for you. Okay. I I'm sitting down to watch your art yeah. to, to, to consume your product that requires on your end, a little bit of respect for me and my time. And when you phone something like that in, yeah. You're you're disrespecting my time. Yeah. You you're you're now insulting my intelligence, you're insulting my sensibilities. You are basically saying I don't care enough about the audience to put in an effort. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I hear you. And I have it I have issue with that. I yeah. take I take issue with that. And yeah. and I think that everyone else should but I get it. And I mean, not everyone they, they won't in dives Dar- deep like so that. I, I, I agree you know. with you, but I can guarantee you most people, especially the people that are probably listening to us. Yeah, no, they don't. I'm, they're not going to care so much. Don't. They're like, really, Darren and Rick, it's an 80s slasher with a low budget. Well, I've probably seen more. I've seen worse or this and that. And that's fine. That is fine that you can feel that way. I, I, I I'm not going to give them a pass on it. I no. was quite, I was quite irritated. After watching it again, and and I look, I knew it was bad, and I and and I know rewatching it again, I knew it was I knew it wasn't going to get any better, and so and after being done, I was like, "How dare they!" I got pissed. I actually texted so, Morris last night, dude. That fucking mustache. I, that's how mad I was. I I went and told Donovan about the mustache. That's how much it bothered me. And look, I know we should let so, some things go, but no, I'm not going to give him a pass so, on this mustache. So Rick, you know what I would say to your to your, what you had just mentioned about that. I'm sure that you know people listening to the podcast are like, really, Darren? Why? Would, you know? <laughs> yeah. See, I would say that I would say no to that. I'm like, like no. For anybody who, you know, listeners who might be, you know, on that, uh, you know, that, that wagon where you're just shaking your head and going, God, yeah, guys. Yeah, you guys are focused too much on the mustache. (laughs) Right. (laughs) I would just say that if you are, if you are that person, you are obviously listening to this podcast, which means you're as passionate about the horror genre as, um, as we all are here. Yeah. Which means that. To some degree, it should be taken seriously. The art yeah. should be taken seriously. Yeah. Okay. Now, no one is saying that liberties can't be taken. Nobody is saying that, that you know, you can't, you know, because believe me, I've suspended belief on all manner of times, you know, f- on all manner of oh, horror oh, movies. Sure, sure. Okay. We, we so, do. So this isn't a case of of you and I uh, not just not getting it. Okay. Well, no, we get it. We understand that liberties need to be taken. Sometimes you just need to give a pass. We understand all those things, but there's a line and that was a line crosser. Yeah. I mean, it, it, my opinion was a line crosser. And if you're, and if you are passionate about, about the genre, the horror genre, then you're, you should be passionate about a detail like this. When a, when a director phones it in, and, yes. and most obviously makes no effort. Yes. Even that, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be a large thing. It can no. be something as silly and as a mustache. It could, Darren, it could have been, it could have been, it's, it could have been that they took, they, they look, maybe they didn't have the time. Maybe they didn't have the budget. Okay. Whatever. Just paint the mustache Brown. Just give me something because it is dark. Maybe, maybe I don't notice it as much if it's brown because I knew it was brown earlier in the film. Just something, just put in some effort. Go down to a local store and buy yourself some, some sort of brown hair. Yeah. Something. A wig for Christ's sake. Glue it on. 
glue it on. That way I know you at least tried a little bit. That's what I think bothers me is I felt that they didn't try it all with this. And then they thought that we were just going to ignore it. And that's what I mean, Rick. And let's not forget that this is not as though we're in a situation where where a person, um, you know, creates a movie and then just gives it to the viewer for free. Yeah. Okay. Back in 1983, people paid for this. Yeah. So you're paying to yeah. watch this. It's no, not true. as though it's true. being given to you. No, exactly. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Just, just try a little bit because, you know, we know, especially the slasher films, they were made with unknown actors on small budgets on short times because the idea was to crank these things out as quickly as possible because they were making money. Yeah. And this one made a shit ton of money. I don't know what the number was, but I thought it said it's something like 10 to 20 times what it cost. Mm -hmm. Just try a little bit for me. I understand you have limitations. I understand, you know, maybe you don't have a, a Tom Savini to work on special effects. I, I get all of that. There's different variables that go. I get it. Just try a little bit. Yeah. And that's what bothered yeah. me. And and Agreed. so yeah, and Agreed. so and maybe we went a little too long on a fake mustache, but whatever. Um, I, I couldn't be, I couldn't let it go. It goes um, beyond the fake. The fake mustache is just the. Uh, it's just the manifestation of what of the larger picture of what we're trying to say. Yeah, I mean that, true, that's all true. It, true it is true. Yeah. Um. So so let's get to so let's get to uh, after we have shit on the stash. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the actual <clears throat> reveal here. Yeah, so, yeah. so if 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 you haven't seen this and you don't know by now what we're gonna do, and again, it is a great ending and is a cool reveal. Um, it, so, Ronnie and one of the counselors, he, they hear something coming from like the little beach area. So they go over there and they hear singing and Angela looks like she's nude. Yeah. And we, we, uh, looks like Paul's nude and Paul, uh, Paul, it looks like Paul's laying in her lap. Yeah. And, and she's like petting his head or something like that. And then as they, they pan over, um, we see Paul's head basically comes off. Like she's, she's killed him and yeah. chopped his head off. Yeah. And then Basically she just lets go of his head. Yeah. So let's rolls. go of his head. Yeah. And then she stands up and we get this. Ah, yeah. And then we get this. If you haven't caught on yet, Angela's not a girl. She is a boy. And, and it's the younger, the younger brother at the beginning of the movie, the daughter and the dad died in the, in the, in the boat accident. And he went to live with the weird ass Aunt Martha. I think it's Aunt Martha and cousin Ricky. Mm -hmm. She basically converted the aunt did converted and him into Angela, a yeah. girl. Yep. And so for eight years, she's been living as a girl and everyone thinks she's a girl. And then we see this reveal and she's standing up naked with a penis. And an, I think she had a knife. Did you have a knife? She had, yeah. She had a knife and the yeah. creepiest. Yeah. Cause she basically. Yeah. Yeah. And this creepy yeah. look and, and it's a cool <laughs> ending. It's, it's oh, like, yeah. Oh damn, I didn't see that coming. Oh yeah. And so it's a really cool ending. I mean, really that's all. In, it was the best than, part of the movie. It's the best part of the movie. Yep. And so, yeah. And so we get these kind of cool close up. The camera's blurry a little bit. We've, we've already said why I think it's blurry is because I, I think you had a guy and then some sort of fake face of Angel, uh, of Angel, or yeah. Lisa, you know, yeah. and then of course the close up is her. But there you go, that that's sleep away camp. Um, <laughs> can I hell, just, go ahead. Yeah, can yeah. I just say um, how crazy insane <laughs> um, th that uh, uh, um, Felicity Rose, Fel Felissa, 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 Felissa. It's okay. Yeah, um, how much she reminded me of. Um, Oh God, Millie Bobby Brown on uh, Stranger Things. Oh God! Oh yeah, 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 dude. Like obviously the hair, yeah, yeah. hair is longer, yeah, you yeah. know. Um, but but her face and and the way she when she finally did talk. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. I don't know if you, if you're uh, into the Stranger. I'm thing. not. I watched season one of Stranger Things, and then I'm like, eh, I just, oh. I kind of gave up. Okay, see, so, so see, with season one, that, that she she, she had, her she had the hair shaved. shaved. Yeah. yeah, no, you need to watch like season two and even like season three. Okay, and, so and she's then, got the long hair. Or something. She does. Okay. She got the longer hair, and yeah. and then it's and she's oh, she would be around like, um. The ages would be about okay. The same. Yeah, same age. Yeah, yeah, absolutely does. You does like every like single her, time yeah. she was on the screen, I was all like, "Damn, <laughs> it looks can't like how much." Yeah, <laughs> it's no, crazy. Right. 
Anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, this is so funny. Like, I mean, we know this is 83, but damn, is it 80s. Like, the shorts and this, the, oh, the, the feathered hair. What's sad is I had feathered hair. I had <clears> shorts <throat> like that that were short. I wore my socks all the way up. Oh, yeah. I mean, Yeah, they dude. were the white socks that oh, had the, 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 the stripes. stripes. <laughs> oh, this. What's yeah. sad is I, I shouldn't even, I shouldn't even say this, but I'm gunning. I don't care. I'm 50 now. I used to wear... <laughs> I used to wear half shirts. <gasps> oh, back the on they had shirts. the half shirts. They had the I forgot half about shirts. that because it was a so- it was uh-huh. a softball game. Yeah, they, yeah. They- oh my god, I'm, I'm not even going to get into that softball game. That was just it. <laughs> what was the point of that? But I whatever. Don't, I don't know. Um, I used to wear half shirts. The short shorts, because that's what was in the socks all the way up. And I used to stick my comb in my socks. Oh so my I had God. my comb with me. The one that was like <laughs> yeah. round at uh-huh. the, the, yes, the handle. Know. Yes, yes. Like, the round. <laughs> I had that in my, oh my God. That was God. a popular comb. Everybody it was. loved that comb. It was Whoever invented yeah. that comb. Yeah, that's a cool bank. comb, dude. Yeah. And, but I had, yeah, I, 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 oh man. So looking back going, yeah, I you remember had that those days. Pocket. Oh, some people oh, had that Oh, some people back put it, I put it in my sock because, because I felt it, I, it would constantly fall out of my back pocket. So I put it in my socks. I knew it'd be there. It wouldn't go anywhere because I, I wore the socks all the way up. It's, it's so that you can comb your feathered cloth. I can comb my feathered hair off. And dude, let's be real. My hair did not look good then. I have, I'll be honest. I've never been great at doing my hair. And these days I just, I hone it in, man. I get a haircut once a month. Yeah. It looks good for a few days. And then after that, I'll do shit with my hair. And it's Pretty like, what much. am I going to do? I don't go anywhere these days because of stupid COVID. But, uh, yeah. but yeah, even then my hair was bad. I look back at pictures going, holy <clears throat> shit. And then I look at the half shirts and I think we've talked about this before. Did you ever wear sweats and then put your shorts over the sweats? Did you ever do that? Cause that no, was a thing back no, then. No. And I'll tell you why. No, I totally <laughs> understand it. And, yeah. and, and you were hundred percent correct. I did not because you need to understand back in the eighties of the time period we were talking about, dude, I was, I was a met, well, I'm still a metalhead, but that's right. You I were. was a metalhead, dude. I, I had like, I had like long, like <laughs> I was like Metallica hair. Yeah. Like, yeah. like eighties Metallica yeah. hair. And see, know? and I'm a couple of years it, younger than you. So I wasn't, I was more, I wasn't, I didn't go that direction. Yeah. Um, so, so I didn't, so, yeah. I didn't walk around with those I, shorts on. I never regular. understood. I did have the, the socks, but they were yeah. always under ripped up, faded, like, like jeans or metal something. jeans. Like, jeans, yeah. Yeah. You know. I was just, I always wonder, like, I'm trying to think back, like if I put sweats on, why am I putting shorts over those sweats? <clears throat> what purpose did that serve? Was that just a style thing? That had to have been a style. There wouldn't be any purpose for that. <laughs> no, they're really when like you I think look about back, that, there would not I be. I look back, like, maybe I'll bring that back. I'm gonna bring <laughs> I'm gonna bring the sweats and the shorts back. <laughs> Could you imagine if I went right now over it's like the Rayleigh's oh or something God. and I had sweats <clears throat> and I put dude. shorts on? People are gonna go, okay, dude. what? Promise <laughs> me you promise me you'll do it for the next podcast. You'll Maybe I'll do it for the you'll, next you'll, podcast. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll we'll have, take a picture, we'll you'll post it in the sweats and make the, the shorts over. Oh the my top. god, dude. Holy shit, dude. The oh stuff Lord. we used to do, man. I oh know. Yeah. Oh, uh, anyways, folks, that's sleepaway camp. Yeah. That's sleepaway camp. Uh, look. If you want to check it out, go ahead. I'm not recommending it. I know Darren isn't going to recommend it. No. It Look, there are some great and some very good slasher movies of the 80s and the late 70s. This is, look, is not it. I, I feel like, look, if, if you're the type of person who, who, you know, you have that collect things mentality where you, you know, like if you're into this, if you're into this genre and you just, you have to watch, you have to consume every every scrap of what this genre has to offer then okay i guess you have to include it sure yeah okay and people will and people will absolutely oh and there's a following for sure no they they will and 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 you know what i wouldn't uh i wouldn't judge somebody for doing that no you know i I get it i totally understand it For me, this was a squash. This yeah, movie it, it was is. just an abysmal mess. It, it is. And, and, um, yeah. And I'm sorry. I mean, I, now I'm going to apologize. I mean, I think I liked it more when I was a teenager. Um, 
because again, I just didn't know any better and yeah. who knows, but yep. now I just, yeah. Well, now we have opinions. Now we've, <sighs> now we have 50 years under our oh belt to, to draw upon uh-huh. and we know a turd when we see a turd. It's a turd and, and no offense to a Felissa Rose. If she happens to come across this, you're great. No, you're, she, was she was the only great. thing that was great she was about great this in the movie. movie. Yeah, and yeah. she was great when we met her and, uh-huh. and she, great other, person. Yeah. Other than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Steer away from yeah. this. No, I want to reiterate that. Yeah. Like, she was. be clear she was the best part of this she was. movie she was she, and, and i don't know if this was her first acting gig because she was only 13 at the time yeah and so i don't know if this was her first acting gig or not but she was great yeah i mean she was totally believable so and essentially what we're doing here is we're shitting on everything around her is yes, what we're shitting yes on. and she's great yeah <laughs> <laughs> and that's sleep away camp folks <laughs> Uh, so anyways uh anything else dude i don't i think we hit on just about everything yeah uh thanks for coming out dude appreciate it yeah Um, you got it and uh everyone uh take care and and uh i don't know we'll catch you next time you listened all the way to the end we appreciate that don't forget to follow us on instagram at ear for fear podcast twitter at ear for fear and subscribe to our youtube channel at ear for fear podcast you can also check out our website earforfear.com There we list news and events. We're available on all the main platforms, so make sure you tell a friend. We hope you come back and get an earful.